everybody. Welcome to another episode of Reality Bites TV. So glad you took time to join us out of your busy schedule, whether you're watching us in the morning, noon, or night. I appreciate it. Listen, I want to jump back into something we've been talking about over the last week. We've been talking about visioning, envisioning uh, something big and bright for your future, envisioning your purpose, what you were created for, your destiny for 2017. Really wanting you guys to jump into that head first, feet first, whatever it is. We want you to get immersed into your purpose and why you're here. So I was thinking about something over the last week or so when we started our uh, first part of this, we talked about seeing the vision, which was getting it into your mind, envisioning what it was that you were here for, what you were made to do. Then we talked about writing it down. And I told you about the old adage from my school teacher where if you cannot write it, you don't understand it. So that was something that we picked up on that was pretty big. And we're still in our... Uh, scripture that we were dealing around Habakkuk 2 2 and it says write the vision make it plain so those that see it can run with it so you see every element what we've been talking about we see the seeing it the writing it and now we're talking about the doing it listen back in the 90s and even up until today the marketing geniuses at Nike came up with an amazing verb uh, slogan uh, for their product for Nike's which was just do it those three little words change a generation when you saw this Nike swoosh, that one right there, this Nike swoosh on your box of Nikes or your shirt. Before you thought about the shirt, before you thought about the shoes inside the box, you thought about the fact that you were supposed to just do it. You thought about the fact that there was something that you were a part of, something that you were supposed to be doing, something that you were supposed to be busy about once you got this shoe or this shirt on your back. You thought that when I had this Nike swoosh on, I couldn't just be lax. I couldn't just be the same me that was maybe lazy a few hours ago because these, you know, when you put your Nikes on, if you're a ball player, you strapped you up to Nikes like these right here, you strapped them up and you went to play ball and you believed you were Michael Jordan, whoever was endorsing Nike at the time. So even when you look at these uh, Jordans here, these are not mine, these are my sons, but we look at that and we see that even with Michael Jordan, there was a just do it sense of urgency being cut from his high school basketball team and going back and training and practicing to become one of the best or the best to ever put on a jersey. Number 23, shout out to you and Jay. But listen, we're talking about the fact that you and I were created for destiny, created for something big. God made you. That's right. You look at me in this camera. I got my eyes on you. God made you to do something amazing. You're not too young, you're not too old, you're not out of sorts, you're not disqualified, no matter where you are, no matter what someone else has told you about you, you were made for something incredible, so you got, I got you seeing it already, I hope you see it, I hope you wrote it down, but now you have to pull out the, 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 the journals and the notebooks and the pieces of paper that you've written what you want to do on, <sighs> blow the dust off, and now do those things, listen, uh, it's easy to write stuff down, and that you write in writing it, you show that you understand it. But there's a courage and a boldness that's needed for you and I to take what we've written and then begin to put to action those things that we've written. It's something else to be able to say, I wrote this and now I'm about to do something about what I've written. So I want to encourage you today, wherever you're watching this, and I'm even encouraging myself in saying this, that whatever it is that you have, whatever it is God has given you, whatever that gift is, don't think it's too small, don't think it's... uh too weird. Listen, we need some weird gifts. We need some people who were called to the fringes uh, of purpose. We need some people with different ideas, different inventions, different entrepreneurial pursuits. So don't think it too out of the box. Don't think it too crazy, even though people may have made you think that it's too crazy. I want you to know that God has a space and a place where that thing that you have in you can flourish, whether it's a speaking type of gift, whether it's a, uh, maybe there's, there's a TED talk with your name on it, whether it's a writing gift, there's a book with your name on it, a great thesis paper and a term paper, whether it's a financial gift, there may be a banking career in the future for you, there may be something where you're financing uh, mission trips, whatever it is, whatever your gift is, there may be a sporting gift on you, so you may be an athlete, there may be a mentoring or a coaching thing on you, whatever it is, listen, it's not too crazy. Whatever your gift is from the east, the west, north, and south, make that thing happen. Be the Nike type of person. Just do it. Listen, that verse we talked about in Habakkuk 2, 2, running. So what God is saying to you is when we see the vision, I'm laughing because I know what's coming. When we see the vision and we wrote the vision, we now have to run with what we've seen and run with what we wrote. So now God is saying to you and I today, run on that beat, run on that beat, run on that beat. 
slide, drop, not to do the, not to do the whole dance, but God wants you to begin the running man on that beat. And what's the beat? The beat is that vision. The beat is that goal. The beat is that purpose. The beat is that passion and burden that's on your life, that's in your heart, that's making you stay awake at night, that's writing, has having you writing ferociously about your plan. That's the beat. And God wants you to running man and run to and towards that beat. You know why? Because that purpose that's on you, somebody's waiting for that to be revealed in you. Listen, I love you so much. I can do this with you all day, all night. Cause I love being able to encourage you. But I'll go for now. And we'll join up, hook up, hang out later. Um, join us and every Wednesday and every Monday. Every Monday and Wednesday, rather, we are going to uh, talk and hang out and encourage one another, inspire one another about the things that were going on in our lives. So join us again every Monday, every Wednesday, or even on our YouTube channel uh, for Reality Bites TV where real life meets real faith. This is encourage you. Look down below, share, click share on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever it is, join us on YouTube and follow us at Reality Bites TV. Wherever you are, hook up with us and I promise you, you'll leave better and more encouraged than you were when you came. Peace, love you.